Hi everyone, this is Ryan here again and uh, today's topic is how to trade Forex. Right, so how to trade Forex. Okay, so there are four ways we can trade Forex. Right, The first way is through the spot market. Right, Currencies are traded immediately on the spot using the current market price. Right, So that, that's why we call it the spot market. You can trade currency on the spot. Right, it's the most liquid, 24 hours a day. Tight spreads, low margin, highest leverage. All right. The second way we can trade is through the futures market. All right. So currencies are traded in contracts to buy or sell at a specific price at a future date. All right. You can trade it through options. All right. Currencies are traded in contracts that gives the buyer the right, all right, or the option to buy or sell at a specific price on the options expiration date. And then finally, you can trade it through ETFs, right? So ETFs means the currencies are put together in a basket, you know, most common, most of the time with stocks, right? So currencies are traded like stocks in an, ex in an exchange, right? So ETFs, normally you can get it from the banks, right? They sell it normally as a type of investment fund. Okay, what is liquidity? Right, so now we're going to cover a bit more in depth about what is liquidity. Right, liquidity refers to the level of market interest, right? The buying and selling volume, right? Forex is high liquidity. This means that the volume of trading is very high, right? Compared to stocks, you know, other other uh, forms of investment, the the volume of trading is very high for Forex. So this is very good. This means that at any point of time, there's a willing buyer, there's a willing seller at the current quoted price. Okay, next we talk about the currency pairs, right? Some of you might be wondering, what is currency pair, right? Remember, when we trade Forex, we are buying one currency and selling another currency simultaneously at the same time, all right? So that's why currencies are grouped into pairs, right? So for example, in this slide here, we see GBP slash USD. Right, so GBP USD. GBP is the base currency and USD is the quote currency. All right? If you are confused about this base currency, quote currency, never mind. This is not important. All these are all you know, theory stuff. It's good to know but not so important when we are trading in the spot market. Right? Okay? So it's, it's just you know, terminology. Okay? Shows how much the base currency is worth as measured against the second currency or the quote currency. Okay? So in this case, GBP slash USD equals 1.51258. What does this mean? This means that one GBP, one British pound is worth 1.51258 US dollars. Right? So for every one pound, you can exchange it for 1.51258 US dollars. Basically, that's what it means. Okay, so we must remember what is the objective of uh, what is the objective of trading, right? Currencies or trading forex. The objective is we are going to exchange one currency for another currency in the expectation in the expectation that the price will change in our favor, hopefully with a profit. So if we buy the US dollar, we're hoping that the price of US dollars goes up so that when we when we close the position, right? we can exit with a profit. All right. So that's the objective of the trading, that's all. Okay, so when we trade currencies, right, how, uh, you know, what, what are options do we have, right? What are the ways that we can trade? We can either buy or we can sell. So unlike stocks where you only buy and then you hold, you know, hoping that the price goes up. Okay, in currencies, in Forex, we can buy and also we can sell. So if you think that the base currency will appreciate relative to the quote currency, you buy the currency pair. If you think that the base currency will depreciate relative to the quote currency, then you will sell that pair. So basically it means that you think that this currency pair's price will go up, you buy. If you think it comes down, you sell. That's all, as simple as that, right? So don't need to confuse yourself with base currency appreciate relative to the quote currency, all right? Just remember, if you think that this currency pair's price will go up, buy. If you think it's going to come down, sell. All right. Okay. So these are some trading terms here. When, uh, you know, some traders, when they say, I'm going to go long, right? I'm going to go long. This means I'm going to buy, right? I'm taking a long position. That means they're going to buy this currency pair. 
And if they say, oh, I'm going to short this currency, or I'm going to take a short position, this means they're going to, go, they're going to sell this currency. All right. So that concludes today's lesson, right? this topic. And then in the next lesson, we're going to be talking about what is a PIP. All right. So I'll see you in the next lesson. Bye-bye.